Renovation and refurbishment provided a port in the storm for suppliers in the European construction industry, and a major growth sector for Europe, as it climbs out of recession, is emerging technologies, particularly solar power. However, governments need long-term strategies to make the most of solar energy, rather than the stop-start approach to subsidies that Europe has so far witnessed. This is according to the Rotec Group, which gathered together 60 journalists from 11 countries to discuss the state of the European economy, and the effect the recession has had on the company. Naturally, Roto had some good news to impart. The panel of speakers looked pleased with themselves as they confidently reported that despite suffering, like many European companies, at the hands of the recession, the company had more than bounced back. A common phrase that was diligently translated to me through my earpiece was that the recent set of results was better than they had dreamed. Roto even reported that towards the end of 2010, the company had seen its best ever sales figures. As a result, the company is very positive about moving into 2011. In reporting its success, the company concentrated on the German market, arguing that even within Europe there have been different approaches to the recent economic disaster, and the company's bullish chairman, Dr Eckhard Kyle, warned that we were still at risk of a new recession. So why had Roto done so well? How has Roto successfully balanced its own income streams, and how has it protected itself from overexposure? Well, I don't think that it, this was properly explained. But general growth areas, Rota said, were refurbishment and renovation, which had proved to be crisis-resistant, and solar technologies, which the company was investing in. Regarding both of these sectors, Rota was unable to say how they would develop. Refurbishment and renovation is a difficult market sector to forecast, apparently, and the future take-up of solar technologies relies on government's long-term approach to subsidies. Roto's particular strategies focused on developing efficient production techniques and logistics, while remembering that customer is king. Roto also explained that the UK is a traditional market for the company, and it cannot imagine business without it. However, in terms of volume, it only comes in at number 8. The company did report that it was watching with interest how imports of Chinese hardware is slowly diminishing in favour of European hardware. This was the fifth such media day the company had arranged in as many years, and Roto is probably warming to its role of European commentator. The company undoubtedly has strong media awareness, but I wonder if it would have been quite so candid about its fortunes had the accounts not looked so good.